Welcome back to Law Logical, your weekly dose of the basics of law. And today, we're diving into an important topic that affects millions of workers in India. Workplace safety and industrial accident laws. Whether you work in a factory, a construction site, or any other industrial setting, these laws are here to protect your safety and well-being. So, let's break down what these laws entail and why they're so crucial. Let's start with some historical context. India's workplace safety laws go back to the colonial era, beginning with the Factories Act of 1881. This act regulated working conditions, hours, and child labor. Fast forward to post-independence, the Factories Act of 1948 was introduced. This law forms the backbone of workplace safety in India today. Since then, India has enacted several laws to ensure workers are safe and employers are held accountable for accidents. These laws cover a range of industries, from factories to mines and even construction sites. Now, let's take a look at the key laws that regulate workplace safety and accidents in India. First on the list is the Factories Act of 1948. This law covers various aspects of health, safety, and welfare in factories. Health provisions like proper sanitation and ventilation are covered under sections 11 to 20. Safety provisions, including fencing of dangerous machinery and handling of hazardous substances, are detailed in sections 21 to 41. Welfare provisions, such as providing restrooms, drinking water, and first aid facilities, fall under sections 42 to 50. In addition to these, the Act mandates that any workplace accident leading to death or serious injury must be reported to the authorities under section 88. The next important law is the Employees' State Insurance Act of 1948, or the ESI Act. This law provides social security to workers in case of illness, maternity, or workplace injury. Medical benefits and compensation are provided in case of an industrial accident. Sections 46 and 51A to 51E outline benefits for injuries and compensation for dependents in case of death. This law ensures that workers are covered for medical expenses and receive financial support if they are injured on the job. For workers in the mining industry, the Mines Act of 1952 is critical. This law ensures that miners are working in safe conditions, free from harmful gases and other hazards. Accidents in mines can be deadly, and under this act, mine managers are required to report any accidents that lead to injury or death. These reports are sent to the Chief Inspector of Mines, as per Section 23. Moving on to the Employees' Compensation Act of 1923, previously known as the Workmen's Compensation Act. This law outlines compensation that must be paid to workers or their families in case of injury, disability, or death due to an industrial accident. Compensation is mandatory if an accident arises out of and during employment, as laid out in Section 3. The compensation amount is calculated based on the worker's wages and age. The Act places the burden of compensation on the employer making it their legal responsibility, regardless of whether negligence is proven. Now let's talk about one of the most recent and comprehensive laws, the Occupational Safety, Health and Working Conditions Code, OSHWC 2020. This code consolidates several labor laws into one and enhances worker protection across different industries. It applies to all establishments with 10 or more workers. Employers are required to maintain safe working environments and provide safety equipment. The code also introduces inspections and penalties for non-compliance. This law modernizes workplace safety by making it easier to enforce standards and hold employers accountable. It also ensures that workers are adequately trained in safety protocols. Construction workers have their own set of regulations under the building and other construction workers, Regulation of Employment and Conditions of Service, Act 
1996. Since construction sites can be particularly dangerous, this law provides specific safety measures. Employers must provide protective gear and health insurance to workers. Accidents must be reported and compensation must be provided to injured workers. Workers on construction sites often face hazardous conditions and this law ensures their safety is a priority. So, what happens if a worker is injured in an industrial accident? Indian law provides several remedies and compensation options. First, under the Employees' Compensation Act, 1923, workers or their dependents can claim compensation for injury or death caused by an industrial accident. Second, under the ESI Act, 1948, workers covered by the ESI scheme can access medical care, temporary or permanent disability compensation, and dependents can claim compensation for death. Third, under the Factories Act, 1948, employers who violate safety provisions can face penalties, including fines and imprisonment. Lastly, workers can also file civil suits for damages if the employer's negligence contributed to the accident. These legal remedies provide protection and compensation to workers who suffer injuries on the job. But unfortunately, enforcement remains a challenge in many cases. While India has strong workplace safety laws on paper, enforcing them remains a challenge, particularly in small-scale industries and informal sectors. Many workers may not even be aware of their rights or hesitate to take legal action against their employers. Here, the role of advocates is crucial. Advocates help workers file claims, hold employers accountable, and push for stronger enforcement of safety standards. Advocates also play a key role in representing labor unions, spreading awareness about worker rights, and pushing for legal reforms. As India continues to grow industrially, workplace safety will remain a critical issue. While laws like the OSHWC Code of 2020 are a step in the right direction, some areas need improvement. Enforcement mechanisms need to be strengthened, especially in the informal sector. More attention must be given to mental health and psychological safety in the workplace. Advocates and labor unions must continue to push for the extension of social security benefits to all workers. Ultimately, ensuring a safe working environment is not just a legal obligation, it's a moral one. Employers, workers and advocates must work together to create safer workplaces across India. And with the right legal frameworks and enforcement, we can protect the rights, lives and dignity of India's vast workforce. That's it for today's episode of Law Logical. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with more legal content every week. See you in the next one.